I'm, uh, my name is Alicia Nelson, and I love this basket here. Are you a famous Navajo basket weaver? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime soon, <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's called a Kanazda basket. Um, who's, who's this sitting next to you? Oh, this is my daughter, Caitlin. She's 10. Does she help you with these baskets? Yes, she does. We go out to get some sumac, and she carries them for me, this little bunches at a time, back and forth. To the truck? Yeah. Uh-huh. She, she helps out a lot and then she's learning. Do you like weaving, Caitlin? Uh, I haven't weaved yet. You haven't? You've just collected and prepared the materials? Have you helped dye the materials yet? No. Not yet. Not yet. Do you want to? You don't know. Okay, tell us about your basket. Okay, this is a whole gone here. Mm -hmm. During the Kanaks that they have, um, or any type of ceremony, they have a material block in the door. They don't use a door door. Uh -huh. so that's do you know, do you know why they do that? Uh, no, I don't know that one yet. But I will find out. Okay. Um, during the Kanaks that they also use a regular basket. That's the main, main one you have to get first. A cere medicine. ceremonial basket? Yes, that's what this so here represents. So that's what the medicine man asks for? Yes. Okay. Um, here is the corn. They use a lot of corn in the Kanata ceremony. A lot of cornmeal or corn, corn pollen? Corn meal, corn stalk, the, the husk, or is it called the husk? The stalk? Yeah. Uh, the, almost everything they use in a Kanata is by corn too. Uh -huh. So that's why I put this one here. So do you know what the corn means? Um. Okay. And then here is a medicine man that does the ceremony. He has um corn. He has a medicine bag here, and he's putting some corn pollen out in the morning. Uh, here's a so the canal de ceremony is typically done in the morning when the sun comes up? It goes on for four days, all day, and then in the evenings, at night they sleep, and then the last night is when they stay up almost all night singing. Uh -huh. chanting, um, and tell me a little bit about the canal de ceremony. That, that happens when a young lady becomes a young woman. And does it revolve around changing women? Yeah, I think so. Um, I've heard some stories with that. Yeah. Tell me mm -hmm. a few. I'm not really. You don't know a lot, and you yeah. can't you can't really tell the stories during this time of the year anyway, can you? Yeah. We have to wait until the winter yeah. to learn these stories. Okay. Um, every morning before the sun comes up, the 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 Kanata, the lady. The girl. The young lady? Yeah, the girl. She runs in the morning with her hair wet. Mm -hmm. And do you know why her hair is wet? Uh, no. That's not okay. Um, who, who wets her hair? The medicine man? The mother. The, the mother. Yeah, okay. she uses the, the basket to wet her hair. Uh-huh. Like wash her hair in the basket. In the ceremonial basket? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Then so do you, when the ceremony's done, do you keep the wedding basket? Yep. You give it to the medicine yes. man as part of the payment? Yes. Okay. There's always, um, somebody always has to follow the canal running. Uh-huh. So that's why there's little <coughs> men or girls, boys, women, they're running after the canal that they can't pass. They can't pass her? Yeah, you can't pass the canal though. What happens if they pass her? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, they also have to run around a pinion tree or a... Um, like a juniper tree yeah, or something? Yeah, a juniper tree. That's what this tree <coughs> represents here. Mm -hmm. They run around and then go run all the way back. Kay. She can't She can't walk. She has to run. So you have to train and get in shape before yeah. the ceremony. Yeah, that's why every every day she goes a little further. Oh yeah, until the fourth day. Yeah, and the fourth day she and goes as far as she can go. Then she yeah. goes as far as she can go. Yeah. And and it's early in the morning before the sun comes up? Yeah. Or as the sun comes up? 
before the sun comes up. Okay. Now, is that a male hogan or a female hogan? Uh, female. Well, what does a male hogan look like? The male hogan they use for sweat lodge. Ah. Did you do, you recently did a basket like yes. that with the sweat lodge? Yes, I did. Okay. Here's a female one. Okay. So tell me a little bit about what the ceremonial basket in the center means to you. Not, not necessarily what it means traditionally, but what it means to you. Uh, a lot of stuff. Um, you mean like what, are, what they mean? Like what the why, why, mean or why it's important to you? Oh, to me? Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I was raised using ceremonial baskets, but I didn't know now who has made it. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe some other tribe, like some other tribe made baskets and we would use it from them. Mm -hmm. And I never knew that now his is actually wool baskets. But we, my family and I, um, were really protective of the basket. I mean, we would not bother it because it was sort of like sacred. Mm -hmm. We would see a basket, and my mom would bring back the basket or something. We just put it aside, and we don't. We used to look at it. I hardly held a basket. Did you keep your important things in it, or something like that? They, my mother used to put corn pollen, um, corn pollen on it, on the inside, like smear it, and then she would put her jewelry in it. Mhm. Mm and do you know why she would do that? She said that it protected um, the good things in her life.